Hello everyone! We're back today with more of the Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero. Uh, thanks for the hydrate and stretch, Karma! Back to sleep, Sammy. And welcome to stream, Karma and Dragoon. How you both doing today? Anyway, last time we finished up the intermission with Ki to learn a little more about Kia. And now we're going to be starting on Chapter 4. So, let's begin. I know I hadn't said anything before now, but I would want... This would make a lovely desktop wallpaper. What do you guys think? <laughs> if you could find just the image without the menu and text on it. Anyway, uh, let's load up the save. <laughs> Three weeks later, there was still no sign of Kia's memories returning, and even with the Bracer Guild's help, the team still couldn't verify her identity. With the anniversary festival over and the mayoral election still one month away, Crossbell had become fairly quiet. The special support section had adjusted to living with a young, rambunctious girl and returned to their regular duties. Being a quick learner, Kia understood that the team worked during the day, and so she stayed at the SSS building without complaint, eagerly awaiting their return. And then... ただいま。帰ったぜ。帰ってきた。あ、帰り。いいタックルだ。キア。いい子にしてたか。うん。はい、しょうばった。ちゃんと一緒にちゃんとおろすばしてたよ。ああ。ほっぴでんげんさいと
コックさんが出てきたから作ってた料理がすごく美味しそうだったの<笑>なるほどなそれじゃあせっかくだからキーヤに手伝ってもらおうかな<笑>うんレッツゴー何のパスタにするかなアルモリカさんの卵とベーコンがあるからカルボナーラでもいいしリベールさんのアサリ缶もあるからボンゴレとかもありだよな。Hold up, what is that? Ah, dang it. I missed it. Let's see. Spaghetti. Yeah, here we go. Yep, it is a pasta made with clams. Don't know what else, but. Oh, okay, with white wine and garlic sauce. Okay.、Uh, not a sea. I'm not really a seafood person, but that still sounds pretty good. <laughs> Or if we want. Oh, do I have to pick. Eggplant ragu. Oh, okay.、Uh, is it. Want me to pick a particular one? Let me check. I guess it's, what I'm really wanting to know is does it matter which one I make? Okay, it just says choose whatever I want. Okay, what were the options again? Carbonara, spaghetti al v a n g o l or eggplant or goo? I'm just gonna go with carbonara. <laughs> ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
and began to cook it with the other ingredients in the pan as if she was an experienced chef. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Ooh, that does look good, doesn't it? いや、俺より<笑> これ、本当に気分が作っちまったのかすごいです。え、お店で出せるほどの味だわ。キーヤちゃん、すごすぎる。美味しくできてよかった。ひょっとして<笑> 料理人の家の子なのかな。親御さんがいるなら今頃は心配で仕方ないだろうけど。そうね。でも仕方がないわ。遊撃士協会の情報も頼っても未だ情報がないくらいだし。よほどの辺境出身か。それとも何か事情があ
ランチがまだみたいだから追加でパスタを茹でておこうキアまた手伝ってくれるかうんごちそうさまでしたすごくおいしかったこれ本当にキアちゃんがうんそうだよ下ごしらえだっけそれはライドがしてくれたけどいやいやそれでも十分すごいようんキーアちゃんの噂はフランから散々聞いてたけどまさか可愛い上にこんな特技まで持ってるなんて<笑>フランはキーアのことすごく気に入ったみたいだからな端末で話すたびにキーアと話をさせてほしいっていつも頼んできてますよねあうちの妹可愛い子には目がないんでねえねえノエルってフランのお姉さんなのそういえば髪の色が同じだし顔もそっくりだねそそうかな私はあの子みたいに可愛いタイプじゃないけどあっと危うく本題を忘れるところでしたその早速話をさせてもらってもいいですかああ構わないよ確か参道の外れにある遺跡についての話だったかええそれが幽霊が出る遺跡だってそうなんです正確に言うと幽霊というか言い伝えの化け物というかとにかく見たこともないような不思議な魔獣が出没していて当初調査に当たっていたベルガード門の部隊は撤収タングラム門のお前さんたちにお鉢が回ってきたってわけかええそれで昨日何人かの隊員と調査に入ってみたんですけど気味の悪い魔獣ばかり現れてみんな腰が引けてしまってちょちょっと待ってもしかして幽霊退治の手伝いを私たちにいいえあくまで遺跡内部の調査が目的なんですけど。調査と言われても俺たちもどうすればいいのかさっぱりわからないけど君がここを訪ねたってことは何か心当たりがあるんだなさすがはロイドさん実はその化け物と戦った時なんですけどオーバルアーツの聞き方が普段と違う感じがしたんです。なんだってそれってもしかしてい前このメンバーで入った星見の塔と同じトキソラ幻の上位山賊星が働いていたような感じですか
このままだとまた司令閣下が放置しろとか命令してきそうで。趣味の指令だったらありえそうだなうんみんなせっかくだから総長に協力してみないか市外の活動にはなるけどなんだかちょっと気になるし。しないみたいだな。されちゃうのはなんだか納得できなくて気持ちはよくわかるよえっとなんならエリーは留守番してくれてもいいけどわかったわかりました私も行きます行きますともエリーさんやけくそですねやれやれ無茶しやがってそそれはともかく。他の支援要請も来ているけどそちらの方はどうするのそうだなそっちを片付けてから総長と合流するってのも面倒だし。
えいいのかええもちろんそのくらいみなさんの用事が済んだら参道外れにある遺跡に向かうってことでどうですかなるほど効率的かもしれないわね車で送っていただけるのは正直ありがたいですねへえ<笑>一家の気分が味わえるってわけか決まりだなキア午後からまた出かけるけど。サイトと一緒にちゃんと留守番できるかいYou forget I have to push the button to continue <laughs> past the start chapter screen. Cave Day no Shadiola, Machino Kitaguchi Tometanimas. Did you shoot Nai de Adeva? Doko de Mo, Okuri de Kirito Mono de Endonaku, take the same. Ah, Wakata. レイの遺跡っていうのは山道にあるトンネルの途中から分岐した先にある遺跡だよな以前遺跡の入り口前まで行ってみたことはありますねその時には警備隊のバリケードで封鎖されていましたが。こちらは道が悪いのでトンネルの途中からは徒歩で行くことになりますけどそんじゃ用事を片付けたら山道のトンネルまで行こうぜ
Okay, I'm back. Uh, let's... Let's make sure there aren't any side quests in here first. Statewide overdue book retrieval. Didn't we do something like this before? Yep. <laughs> it's happening again. People are checking out books and are returning them. I need your help retrieving these wayward books. See me at the city library in the administrative, di administrative district for more details. Creative Cooks one. I'm thinking of making a new recipe and it needs a certain something that I can't quite figure out. Uh, can you come by and help me? Most days I'm in the kitchen at Vink Sept, which can be found in Central Square. Meet me there. I uh, want to repay a girl who helped me out during the f anniversary festival. Could you please help me find her? I'm staying at Long, Tau Long Lao Tavern and Inn. I would like your help ASAP. Okay, that's a short one. So I better do that one first. Hidden quest of the hospital talk to the seal. Okay, thanks, Reen. I'll take care of that in a sec. And welcome to stream, Reen. How you doing? Uh, let's see. West Crossbill Highway Monster Extermination. A uh, dangerous monster Quetzalcoatl has been sighted on the West Crossbell Highway. We ask that the special support section deal with this threat swiftly. Adams a note. May faint with its powerful uh, strikes. Make sure you have your best equipment. For this one? Um, oh no, for... For this one? Anton. Name's not ringing a bell offhand. Celtio, uh, Anton and Ricky. Uh, you may have to refresh my memory. <laughs> I probably remember. Talk to the ramen guy in the harbor district. Okay. Make an appearance in every game. Oh, okay. I've been wanting to experiment with new flavors, so I tried to emulate Long Lao Stir Fry, but I learned my lesson. There are no shortcuts on the path of the noodle. You guys can have the recipe, though, if you want. Save the recipe for Long Lao Tonmin. Alright. Oh. Is this something else I can learn a recipe of, or do I already know the recipe? Um, I'm gonna check that real quick. Let's see, what was that called again? Dynasty noodles. Yeah, I don't think I have a recipe for that, but the question is, can I learn a recipe of it? Got the recipe? Okay. Let's see, um... I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. Before I try to make any of these. Talk to Miranda and house right of mine. 
Okay, just a minute. Um, so, I'm taking it this means everyone but Ellie is confident making it. Or maybe Randy is most so. Yeah, let's try Randy. Okay, there we go. Now, um, I guess I'll... At hospital, touch... Well, okay, what the... I'll do it as soon as I can. Like I said, right now I'm working on these recipes. Um, let's see what Ellie gets us. Okay, let me reload. I know, just mention it so you know. Okay, thanks. Um, where is it I can buy ingredients? Was it at the tavern? Or was it at the general store? The department store, rather. Also, you need to talk to Seal twice? Okay. Okay, I need the onions. Yeah, these. Okay, who should I have cook it? I already had... I already got... Um... Let's see. How many... Actually, how many do I have? Let me check. Okay, I have one of each, so who should I have try to cook the last one? Because I've already got it with Lloyd and Randy. So, Ellie or Tio? Fail, what's that? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Gives us one CP. <laughs> okay, that was probably worth it. Let's go ahead and save again. Let's try Tio now. Nope. There we go. Melted cheese pizza. Uh, let's get let's buy some more sesame oil. Yes, yarga. Just 
任せとけってインピッツァ。OK、I got the peculiar one、um...。Oh, oh, I need some more cyber tomatoes. OK。Fly and buy those here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Give it a go. Okay. Um, I'll have Randy try again. There we go. Alright, sweet cake. Um, okay, let, well, let me save, but I think I'm good to try this. As far as the ingredients. Okay, let's have Ellie give it a go. She needs a little, she needs a turn. <laughs> To make something good. <laughs> Pure cut cake. Nice. Alright. Um, let's let Lloyd try. Okay, there we go. Let me take a look at what these do real quick. Let's see. Evasion Pizza restores 10% HP and raises eva evasion by 50%. Nice. Uh, bowl noodles. Sit. CP plus 10 HP region. Oh, that's not bad. Um, immersion cake. <laughs> By not focusing on the cake, your mind becomes free. <laughs> Restores 10% HP, ATS up 50%, and accuracy up 50%. Nice. Pure cut cake restores 50% HP and ATS and AX accuracy up 25%. All right. Melted cheese pizza restores 50% HP, CP plus 25. And the queen pizza restores 70% HP and CP plus 50. Nice. And the Dynasty Noodles restores 80% HP, strength and defense up 25%. Alright, let's see what else I can do now. Light popcorn. Let's buy more sesame oil first. Okay, yeah, it's fine. All right. Yours, Yarika. Um, let's let's start with Randy. Okay, he made the regular. Yours, Yarika. 
Well, let's have Lloyd try. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, let's let Tio make it. Yep. Okay, I guess I'll let Ellie try it then. Okay, there we go. Now, let's see. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, that's not what I wanted. And I'll go ahead and buy more of the... I'll buy more of these just in case I come up across more recipes. Okay. Alright, let's see. Um, uh, at mains, okay. Oh yeah, I gotta go to the hospital first. Uh, to talk to Cecile. All right.
Uh, I don't remember where Cecile is then, because I'm not finding her anywhere. Oh, she's in 304? Okay. Oh, Lloyd, it's nice to see you. Oh, good morning. Hello, you two. I really wanted to thank you for what you did the other day, Shizuku. You becoming friends with Kia really made her happy. It was nothing. I think I should be the one thanking you, actually. Um, how is she? Oh, she's great. Girl's so active, we have trouble keeping up with her. She never gets tired of running around, that's for sure. Yes, we are, but we are still not close to recovering her memories. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, could you pass along a message to Kia? I'd love to come play with you sometime soon. Will do, Shizuku. Believe me, you're welcome to the at the SSS building any time. <laughs> Won't that be fun, Shizuku? Oh, that reminds me of something. If you're not too busy, might we all ask you all for a little favor? Huh? Cecile, you don't mean... What's up? P please don't worry about it, Cecile. It's just a silly idea. Oh, you're the one being silly. There's no need to be shy. You see, it's almost Shizuku's father's birthday. So, of course, she wants to give him a special present. It's almost Arya's birthday? So he is, human, eh? Obviously, Randy. I think I get it. You want our help to figure out what present to get, right? N no, not quite. You see, I was thinking of making Father something handmade this year, so I was wanting to search for some things I could use for it. Oh, gotcha. So you want to collect a bunch of trinkets around here to craft a special charm for your dad? <laughs> That's been a cross and tradition for a long time. Whoa, really? Never heard of that one. I remember making cute things like that for Grandfather when I was little. So we're to search the medical college for suitable materials for your gift? Does that summarize the request? I if you could, yes. I know if there's anyone capable of finding the perfect items for Shizuku, it's you guys. When you do, would you mind bringing them up to us? Sure thing. We couldn't resist a request from the adorable Shizuku. I never meant to impose, but thank you. The next question is, what do you want to make? If we know that, we should be able to put together a list of what to look for. Any ideas? Oh, well, let's see. I actually found this really amazing stone the last time I went on a walk with Cecile. It was, it's all smooth and feels nice to the touch. When I showed it to Cecile, she said I should keep it, since it's so very pretty, but... Maybe we could incorporate it into Father's gift somehow. I think that's a wonderful idea. It really is quite the mysterious little rock. When I held it, it gave off this gentle warmth that spread through me like a comforting hug. Wow, that is pretty neat. Now, if we are using this stone, we should consider what kind of present it would be most suitable for Arios. And since it's a present, of course, we'll need something to wrap it up in. So, let's put a box and ribbon down on our list as well. Good call, Ellie. I can't. I'm sorry that you have to go through all this trouble for me. It's fine, Shizuku. Thanks to you, we have a good idea of what to look for. That makes this way easier for us. Well, guys, ready to start our search? Quest, a present for father started. Wonder if there's anything around St. Ursula we could use. Can you help me look around? Uh, I guess I just gotta pretty much explore everywhere then. Might as well start on the roof since I need to talk to someone up here too.
About Kia's condition. I've looked into everything I could find, but I have bad news. Nothing is a perfect fit for her particular symptoms. There's also a possibility that she's developed a new, never foreseen form of amnesia. I see. On the bright side, on the bright side, it doesn't look like there are any serious abnormalities with her. I say just wait and monitor the situation. Besides, I'm no sadist. I don't want to force her to stay here at the hospital when it clearly puts her under so much distress. If I had to weigh in, in fact, I'd say I'm more of a masochist. Mm. What are you talking about? Man, you don't make a lick of sense. Well, that aside, you don't have to do anything to worry about in the immediate future. Just try to keep an eye out on eye on her, alright? Oh, and while you're here, get a load of this. When I went fishing this morning, I hooked a real monster. You should have seen the look on Sheridan's face. He really does just live in his own world. Uh... Aw, Mepha got mad at me again. She should see one of the doctors about that temper of hers. You know, I bet she's so angry because she never gets to eat lunch on time. I'd get pretty cranky, too. Uh, I tried recreating this hamburger I saw at a festival food stall, and guess what? I nailed it in one go! I should teach Me Mepha how to make it. Oh, if you want, I can teach you, too. Colorful tomato burger. Alright. よし、やるか。ま、任せとけって。おほほほ、いい感じじゃね。よし。ちょっと自信ないけど、何かしらこれ。あ、ファームバーガー。オッケー。Save again before I continue. Okay, I don't think I've found anything on the roof to help with making the gift. Nope. Alright. A framed photograph of Ceci Cecile Lloyd and a young man with a fearless glint in his eyes sits on the shelf. Oh, it's that picture of Cecile Guy and me. If that's here, that must mean this is Cecile's room, right? Visitor and outpatient lodging. Speak with the superintendent prior to use of rooms. Oh, Shizuku wants to make a present? Let's see here, I might have just a thing. Here it is, would this work? Our Iolia took out a sapphire crystal. How about this? Some imperial merchant gave me this as a reward a while back. This would definitely make Shizuku stay, don't you think? Make sure she gets it. Th that's way too nice. Besides, Shizuku would probably get in trouble if she used something this expensive. 
Also, this would likely go against her request to collect simple materials. Oh, you think so? But I don't really have anything else on me. Uh, I just want to be able to help sweet, sweet Shizuku. What'd you say? You're collecting stuff so Shizuku can make a gift? Mm, I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. But unfortunately, I don't think I have... I don't think I have anything on me that'd be that useful. Oh, I knew it. Surgeries really are fascinating. There's still so many ends to Okay. How's my Sabbath looking? Yeah, let's go ahead and see if I can get enough to get that thing for Ellie's room. Oh wait, never mind. Okay. Actually, no. Okay, that'll do.
I got a letter from my parents all the way in Lemon. It even came with a present, too. They got me the toy I've been telling them about, which made me really happy. Haha, <laughs> good for you, Michael. If it was a gift, then maybe... Hey, do you still have the box your toy came in? The box? Mrs. Steele folded it up for me earlier. She said since I don't get presents often, I shouldn't just throw it away. Dang, women are way more thoughtful than men. I'd have thrown that sucker in the trash right after I opened it. Thoughtful? I think it simply comes down to you being thoughtless, Randy. Um, did you need it for something? Well, actually... Lloyd explained that they were collecting materials for a present Shizuku wanted to make. So, we're trying to find a gift box and things like that for her, but... Wait, so it's for Shizuku? Why didn't you say that to start with? Here! Received gift box. Wow, isn't that lovely? A wonderful box for a wonderful gift. How are, you re are you really okay with giving this away? We wouldn't want to force you to part with an important keepsake of yours. I'm definitely okay with it. I still have the toy I came with, and I was told and I was going to throw away until Miss Seal told me not to anyway. More importantly, I wanted to give something sh to Shizuku, too. In that case, we'll be happy to pass along to her for you. Thanks, Michael. Haha, <laughs> aren't you the ladies, man? Keep it up, kid. There's nowhere to go but up. <laughs> thanks. As soon as my stomach started aching, I was told that I had something called appendicitis and driven here before I even had time to blink. I mean, how bad could it be? I just want to go home. Uh, very bad. After living by myself, it's refreshing to stay in a bustling place like St. Ursula. Everyone I've met has been friendly, so I've been doing my best to get along with them. After being hospitalized, I put my son in the hands of my mother-in-law, Adios Blesser. In my experience, most wives and their mother-in-laws clash with each other big time, but fortunately we've been able to avoid that. We admitted Mr. Gable, one of the diet members, into a private room on the third floor, but recently we had a bit of an incident. He got tipsy and barged into the nurse's station, demanded we keep him company, crossing several boundaries in just one brash step. Martha came across the whole scene a few moments later and dragged him back to his room. I swear, you must think that we nurses are no different from hostesses and wander in the entertainment district. Occasionally, we had to deal with some less unpleasant individuals like Mr. Gable. They always stay longer than necessary because they think the hospital is cozy, or they just like to sexually harass the nurses. Honestly, I can hardly stand to be civil with them at times. Uh, hospitals drive me up the wall. I can never get a moment's rest in them. Just let me out of here already. Uh, recently, I've been lucky to have Dr. Lago as my attendant physician. It really is a privilege to be treated by such a prestigious doctor as him. My stomach is tearing itself apart. Isn't it my turn yet? I have nothing but admiration for all the residents working here. They're all absolute studying fiends. All that dedication they sink in makes me want to cheer them on. Go, interns, go! I tried to bust out some Eastern martial arts moves as a, wor as a workout, but I got too into it and took quite the tumble. <laughs> I suppose I did overdo it a tad. Dr. Gunter runs all sorts of research projects in the neurology and pharmacology departments. He even sends, synthesizes our nutritional supplements and surgical anesthesias there as well. Oh my, are you alright, sweetie? Looks, you have, looks like you have quite the fever. Could you stick this thermometer under your arm, armpit and sit tight for a second? Oh, my head is burned up. <coughs> as soon as I stopped coming to my appointments, I completely relapsed. Just my luck. Keeping up with your health is a whole lot harder than it looks. Well, maybe if you had kept going. 
This house we're seeing. After joining the CGF, I've tried to stay in peak condition. I got responsibilities, you know. I don't want a little sickness to get in the way. <laughs> now that's the spirit. You keep yourself healthy and now the hospital is the best you can ask for. That being said, if you do start to feel under the weather, don't hesitate to call us. There's only so much you can do on your own. Probably shouldn't have pulled that all night research binge. I've been dead set on developing something importable and more convenient, but that went up in smoke. Sounds like she specialized in medical equipment. Who knows? She might have something that would be a good addition to Shizuku's present. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a minute? Uh, yes. What is it? Lloyd explained that they were collecting materials for a present Shizuku wanted to make. So we were wondering if you might have anything to spare. Aw, that's so sweet of her. You got it. Now, let me see. This might do the trick. Received a pendant. Is this a pendant? That it is. The kind you can place a gem inside of, too. My research last night into portable pendant-like medical tools was a spectacular failure, and this is the byproduct of that. Portable medical equipment? That's not aware such a thing even existed. Oh, uh, that's because it doesn't. Yet. Yeah. It's still highly experimental, so I think it'll be a while before we can get it up and running. The idea is that you use quartz within the pendant to generate healing properties, which in turn promotes self-recovery. It's fascinating stuff in theory. Ah, damn. St. Ursula's research is no joke. I'm sure the CGF would find something like that way handy, especially in combat scenarios. But you said it's a failure, correct? What exactly went wrong? Yes, well, I was putting together a prototype last night, but... I must have made a mistake somewhere. The second I activated it, it just... Boom! Exploded! Uh, that sounds rather dangerous. Funny thing is, the pendant was at the center of the blast, and it still made it in one piece. <sighs> That's a miracle, if you ask me. Something as lucky as that is perfect for a present, don't you think? I'm not sure someone in the medical field should be associating luck with explosions. Well, thank you very much. I'm sure Suzuku will really appreciate it. Good, I'm glad I could help. Suzuku's stone will pair perfectly with us once we get it set inside. All that's left is to find something that can substitute as a chain for the pendant.
Well, I don't know who else to talk to, because I know I don't have everything I need yet. Received a gift box from Michael. Received a pendant from Chief Ursuline. See, we need more than that. Oh wait, I didn't go out here. Maybe there's someone around here that could help. I haven't been tired lately. First, when I asked Saron to order new equipment, we were delivered something entirely different. And on top of that, my son... My son Kien who still has no intention of leaving that foolish gang he's in. I may be a doctor and all, but life just won't give me a break. Is a doctor here? The poor guy looks utterly worn out. Still, he might have some idea of what we're... Still, he might have some good I some idea of what materials would be good for Shizuku's present. Excuse us, there's something we wanted to ask you about. Hmm? What is it? Lloyd explained that they were collecting materials for a present Shizuku wanted to make. Right now, we're still trying to figure out what to look for. Oh, it's for little Shizuku? If that's the case, there might be something over there. Where exactly? Allow me to explain. In the hospital, a large quantity of goods are stored away and forgotten about. I'd go so far as to say they're, that they're in mint condition. What kind of goods? Why are they here at St. Urs Ursula? A while ago, I asked one of our nurses, Cerrone, to order some surgical supplies. Uh, Like scalpels, then things of that nature. Uh, Book quest? Hang on a minute, I'll see what you're talking about. But instead- Oh, the library one, gotcha. But instead, what was delivered was an assortment of random goods. How did this happen, you may ask? Uh, that's what I would like to know. That's unlucky, man. In a way, it reminds me of all the headaches the commander causes for the rest of the Guardian Force. Would you mind if we took a look at them? Oh, man. Frankly, it's been a pain trying to get someone to take them off our hands. You can find that container on the terrace right outside of the men's dormitory on the second floor of the inn. If you see something that catches your eye, by all means, take it with you. That's great. Thanks for the help. So the dormitory second floor terrace. That should be where they put the fence up after the monster attack. There, I talked to everyone here, I think. I think this is the container the doctor mentioned. All right, let's check it out. Do you see anything that will work for us in there? Yeah, at least I think so. Is that a knitted leather string? It looks well made, too. Is there anything else? Oh, well, i would give it a look in. It's full of creepy dolls and figurines. I guess these are to ward off evil spirits or something along those lines. Uh, I think this knitted string is the best we're going to find in here. I can see why the doctor was having trouble getting rid of it now. I guess we should consider ourselves lucky to find at least one good thing in there, eh? 
Found knitted leather string. Okay, I feel like I've already checked the entire place, just about. what I'm missing because I've looked everywhere in the hospital I think and I just don't have much to make the gift with Okay, I'll be right back again. Just a moment.
Okay, it's uh... Alright, I'm back. It says to go to the nurse station on the second floor. So, hang on a minute. Oh, okay. I missed this somehow. Hmm. Do I return to the store or not? I've got to... I've got to come to some kind of decision about it. Um, excuse me. Is something the matter? Huh? Oh, no. It really isn't a big deal. It's just that... I bought this ribbon the other day when I was in the city for the festival. I mean, I thought it was really cute. I'd say it was more of an impulse buy, if anything. But after giving a lot of thought, I realized that's a little too cute for my personality. A ribbon, huh? That might be just the thing we need for wrapping the present. Say, would you mind doing us a favor? A favor? What do you mean? Lloyd explained that they were collecting materials for a present Shizuku wanted to make. So we were wondering if you might let us give that ribbon to Shizuku. Wow, so that's what she's been up to. Yep, our intentions are completely pure. What other intentions could we have had? You have somehow managed to sound more suspicious than if you had not clarified that at all. <laughs> well, if it's for Shizuku, how can I say no? Put it to good use, okay? Received a ribbon. Thank you, Mefa. I know what costume you're up, so I really hope we didn't bully it off of you. Oh no, don't worry about that. I'd honestly consider throwing it away, so it's in much better hands with you guys. Good luck with finding whatever else you need. Thanks, I'm sure Suzuku will be ecstatic. We should have everything now. I bet the gift box and ribbon will make for the perfect finishing touch. Alright, I think it's time to show Suzuku what we found. Alright. So we're done with that now. So, back to the third floor. Uh, let's take- where's the elevator? Here it is. Oh. Guess I forgot we were on the second floor. Oh well. Oh Lloyd, you're back! Does that mean- That's right. I think we found enough stuff to put together a really nice gift. Handed over pendant, knitted leather string. Oh, is this a pendant? Yep, we also found a box and a ribbon. Along with these other things, that should be everything you need. Handed over ribbon and a gift box. I'm honestly a little shocked. I believed in you, but you really went above and beyond. Finding all of this in St. Ursula couldn't have been easy. What do you think, Shizuku? Can you make your father's present with what they bought? With what they brought? Yes, I can. There should be more than enough. The pendant feels really sturdy, so I doubt it will break. Also, the string's material seems comfortable enough that it won't bother Father while he wears it at work. Everyone, thank you so very much. Your smile made the whole thing worth it, Shizuku. What kind of men would we be if we turned down a request from a cutie like you? It was high stakes for me and Lloyd, believe me. It's going to be perfect. It certainly should be, yes. Oh, Shizuku, since we're all here, should we go and put everything together? Y yes that sounds good to me. That is, if everyone else would like to stay for a bit longer and see the final product. Definitely. After all, we might still be able to help you with something. I may not be the best at arts and crafts, but I'd love to help. Let's see. Now all that's left is to attach the string and set the stone with the pendant. It's done! What do you think, everyone? Do you think it turned out okay? It looks extremely well made, Shizuku. Great job. I'm sure your father will be delighted. Phew, thank goodness. I was kind of skeptical at first, but the stone really is something else. You had quite the sense to pick that one out, I've got to say. A little bit of polish and bam, you got yourself a nice fine necklace. I bet you'd put even, even put jewelers to shame. It's uncanny, really. It's as if the pendant was meant to sit in as if it's as if the stone was meant to sit inside that pendant. The string too. It doesn't look a step out of place. 
It is uncomplicated, but I think that in and of itself adds to its elegance. I agree with Randy. It doesn't look like any less than what you would find in a jewelry store. I couldn't agree more. Cecile, everyone, thank you. I would have never been able to make this amazing gift without you. Um, I'd like to give you this as a token of my gratitude. Please take it. Receive Shizuku's brooch. It's beautiful. Wait, is this the same kind of stone you put in the pendant? Yes, when I found the stone with Cecile, I actually came across another one just like it. I've been keeping this one inside of my broken brooch. Are you sure you want us to have it? Yes, of course I am. Alone, I don't think I ever would have been able to get make my make my father the gift I wanted to. That's why I told myself that I would give this to whoever helped me. At first, I thought I would give it to Cecile, but after talking things over with her, we thought it'd be best for all of you to have it. After collecting such amazing pieces, you've certainly earned it. Haha, <laughs> with all this flattery, it'd be rude of us to refuse, now wouldn't it? I think we should accept it with gratitude, Lloyd. You make a good case. Thank you, Shizuku. I promise I will take good care of it. Yes, please do. Thank you again, and have a great rest of your day, everyone. Quest, a present for father completed. Alright, let me check out that brooch she gave me. Move plus 2, speed plus 5, drop rate plus 20%. I'm strongly tempted to put that on Randy, to be honest. I think. Let me make sure. Let's see. Move 12, 6, 6, 10. Okay, yeah, I gotta take care. I gotta get these off started also. Let's see, I gotta go to... Well, let's get back to the city first and then I'll worry about it. <laughs> Okay, first is, uh, gotta go to the city library and the administrative district. Administrative district is, okay, well, there is one I need to get in Central Square, so let's go ahead and get that while we're there. The kitchen at Fink Sept. Okay. Faint sept, faint sept. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, who am I supposed to? Uh, Celtio, okay. Okay. Okay, this might be him. Okay, nope. Okay, here we go. Oh no, what do I do? 
The manager and Braun won't lend me any help, so that's out. Ugh, where do I even start? Excuse me, you received a request from an employee here named Celtio. Do you know him by any chance? You came to help me? Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're the... Um... Special support section. Pledge to make your acquaintance. We'd well, be more than happy to help. The customer's always right, after all. Yeah, whatever you need, we got you covered. Can't help feeling that I'm becoming some sort of errand boy. You're just now feeling that way? <laughs> so your request, it involves searching for something, right? Yes, that's right. Save me, man. You see, I was told by the manager to try and come up with a new dish for the restaurant. Uh, but, well, it couldn't be going worse. I've burned all my creative juices down to the last drop. It's hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. Well, that kind of thing happens to everyone. Guess you can't just throw some random ingredients together and call it a day when you're a pro chef. Basically, having to cook for celebrities with time from time to time doesn't make it any easier either. So that's why I need you to help me. I heard that your division mingles with the public a lot, so I thought that you might have been to your fair share of restaurants. What I'm looking for are dishes that are truly one of a kind. Entrees that can only come from thinking outside the box. As in peculiar dishes? We well, have yeah, plenty of those. <laughs> like when you set out to cook omelette rice only to wind up with some completely different concoction? Is that what you mean? Exactly. That there is the very essence of culinary innovation. There's a fine line between delicacy and disaster. And perched on it on... On is... And perched on it... What? This last sentence didn't... On perched on it... On is... Uh, oh... That last sentence didn't make any sense. I'm gonna assume there's only simply one on in there. And perched on it is a whole... And perched on is a whole world of ideas. Of new ideas. So you guys cook too? That's perfect. Now my expectations are sky high. I don't think we may anything we make is fit for a professional, professional chef, personally. In any case, I think we understand your issue now. We just need to bring you some peculiar dishes, right? Yep, that'd be great. I want to compare all of them, so I'll need at least ten for some good variety. But, I mean, the more the merrier. Flood me with all the dishes you can. That about wraps it up, I think. My taste buds and I will be waiting. Okay, how many recipes do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so I do have at least ten. All right. Um, the bold noodles. You have sixteen peculiar dishes. Ready to show me what you got? Oh, okay. <laughs> Good thing I've been doing this on my own time. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and take those if you don't mind. <clears throat> yeah, this should be enough. After I get done sampling, I'm going to come up with the greatest dish ever. Anyway, you guys are lifesavers. Just thinking about what would have happened if I didn't come up with a new recipe. <sighs> uh, what exactly would have happened? Uh, yeah, you don't really want to know. Just forget us and anything. Alright, want to try a bite of the taste dish? You'll ha I'll still have to thank you for all your help. The taste isn't quite there yet, but behold my creation. Truffle and fish eyeball soup. Pass. Regardless of how it tastes, it looks absolutely horrid. It certainly is. It's certainly an odd combination. Appreciate the offer, but I'll pass. Really? What a shame. I was hoping to get some early feedback. Oh, right. Take this as thanks. Proceed to Tira Bomb. That baby works wonders whenever you get yourself food poisoning. Th thanks, Saltio. You really are putting your heart and soul into this job. Well, there's a lot riding on this. And as chef, I gotta answer the call. Uh, thanks for doing this, guys. If I ever, if I need anything else, I'll give you a call. We are available anytime. Quest creative cooks wanted completed. All right, we're done with that. And I still need to go to the administrative district.
Hi again, Uncle Miles. Oh, Lloyd, it's good to see you. If I'm not mistaken, you must be here for... Yep, we're here for work. I believe you sent a request to the SSS for help, right? Oh, just a thought. I'm glad you guys came so quickly. Thank you, I'm in your debt. Alright, the request said that you need to help locating and retrieving some overdue books again. Yep, this isn't the first time I requested this of you. Well, let's get to it, shall we? Well, allow me to explain the details. Yeah, of course. Splendid! You're doing me a huge favor. You see, several of our patrons have yet to bring in their overdue books. I'm terribly sorry, but I'd like for you to locate and return them to me once more. Once more. It seems there are still a fair number of people who need to less a lesson in punctuality. Well, no big deal. We can take care of this lickety split. Uh, about that. I'm afraid it won't be quite as simple this time. Would you mind elaborating? Each person over to you book lives outside of Crossville City. Oh, okay. They're all spread out on the outskirts of the state. Oh, I see what you mean. Do you at least have their addresses? I sure do. First up is Alfred, who lives in Armorica Village. Next is Thogi. He's a mod that lives in Maine's. Lastly, we have Flora, a resident of St. Ursula Medical College. They really are on the outskirts. Man, you're telling me we gotta go all over the state for some books? How irksome that they could just not follow the rules in the first place. Now, now, this isn't so bad. Yeah, but I wish I had taken this before going to the hospital. Oh well. We really would try to tackle the issue ourselves, but it's just too far out of all reach this time. So, would you mind taking care of this for your dear old uncle? On the bright side, we can use my car if we head out right now. Then it won't be too much of a trek, right? That's not a bad idea. Sounds like we'll be relying on you to drive us around, Sergeant Major. Alright then, I think it's time to get a move on. Great, thank you. Please return to me once you collected all three books. I'm counting you, everyone. Quest State Ride over to you book retrieval started. Okay, I need to go to the Long Lao Tavern and Inn. Okay. Okay, might be insane in one of the rooms then. Here we go. I'm begging you, Adios. Please let me meet with that beautiful angel again. Excuse me, are you Anton? Yep, that's me. Who are you, though? We're with the Crossbell Police Department Special Support Section. We're here to consult you with, a, with you about a support request. Oh, I've been waiting for you. 
Uh, there's something I want to ask for your help with right away. Will you hear me out? Yeah, we will. The request stated that you're trying to locate a woman, right? Yeah, I really need to find her so I can give her my thanks. She pulled me out of the darkness when no one else could. Care to elaborate? Sure, my best friend Ricky and I came here from Live Barrel on vacation. To be honest, my, wa my life stinks. I figured visiting somewhere a little more exciting might help turn it around. Uh, sure, fair enough. Nothing changed much, though. I still got slapped across the face by the cold, cruel reality of my life. To make matters worse, I managed to lose my wallet and all the money I brought for this trip along with it. Oh man, that really is unfortunate. Ill, yeah, I'll leave it to someone as dull and hopeless as myself to screw up that badly. I really am my own worst enemy, aren't I? Ricky already tried to help me find the wallet, but it was to no avail. I was thinking I had no choice but to borrow some Mira from him and limp back home to Liberal. However, that was when it all began. Just when all hope was lost for me, that kind, kind woman gave me the help me helping hand I needed. Man, I'm jealous. You don't find a gal like that every day. Seriously, it was all thanks to her efforts that I was able to get my wallet back in one piece. As you can imagine, I thought our meeting could only have been fated. When I was lost, trapped in an endless pit of darkness, she held out her hand and pulled me back to the light. She's nothing short of an angel. So, to make an increasingly long story short, you want to find this girl, right? Yes, that's exactly right. Uh, the problem is, I've been searching for her for the last three weeks, but I haven't found a single lead. I asked the Bracer Guild to help a poor guy out, but they turned me down. They claimed that'd be a low-priority case, since she isn't exactly missing. They had far more important work they need to focus on. Hell, if this were like Burl, I'd be able to get help from something as mundane as a drinking contest. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just reopen an old wound. Anyway, move along. Why do I have a feeling Shara was involved with that? <laughs> anyway. Uh, Rick Ricky heard you're about your team while he was out on the town. So he submitted a request for me. Your team is pretty much like the Bracer Guild, right? Come on, help a poor guy out. Well, sure, I suppose. Huh? I didn't know the SSS handled requests of this nature. Sort of. It was Ina. Oh, okay. Close enough. Your work has a much wider scope than I thought it did. To be fair, something like this is quite rare. So, what's the plan, Lloyd? I do not know how I feel about the CPD involving themselves in other people's personal affairs. She makes a good point. Gotta be honest with you guys, I kinda wanna scope out this chick. What does she look like, anyway? Bet she's cute as heck, yeah? Cute as heck doesn't even begin to describe her. I still have her burned into my memory. She had a gentle aura about her that could calm even the most churlish of men. Her calm voice radiates an unbridled kindness, and don't even get me started on her utterly adorable auburn pigtails. Huh? I can't help but shake the feeling that I know someone like that. I agree, that sounds awfully familiar. I too seem to recall encountering someone of a similar description frequently. Well, he's starting to talk about our friend, ain't he? Oh, I think you're right. Well, wait a second, you guys know her? Uh, there's a strong chance we do. He said she had auburn colored hair. Was it roughly the same color as mine? Y yeah, it is. It totally is. No way. Don't tell me. Are you related to each other? Well, assuming we're not mistaken, then yes. I'm actually her older sister. Oh, thank you, sweet Adios. You hear that, Ricky? Fate strikes again. Sure, Anton, if that's what your heart believes, then maybe you're right. Though you're kind of ignoring the possibility that she might not actually be the one. Ex excuse me, dear sister. W w what? Does she already have, you know, a romantic partner? Uh huh. Um, not that I've heard of. We don't live together, but she's never told me anything of the sort. I see. Anyway, 
I'd really like to show her my most heartfelt thanks before I head back to Liberal. Uh, would you do me the great honor of asking her to meet with me? Hmm. Well, I suppose I don't mind. Are you okay with taking on this request, Lloyd? As well. Alright, we'll accept your request. Yes, thank you so, so, so much! Okay then, I'm counting on you guys. Please get her to promise to meet with me again. Now that it's settled, we should head over to the precinct and see if we can get a hold of her. I bet she's man in the reception desk right now. Good idea, I'll come along with you. Quest a sincere favor started. Alright. Yep, he took all of them, didn't he? Oh well. Oh, hi everyone. I see you're still tagging along with the SSS, huh, Noe? And did you guys run into any snag? Into a snag while you were investigating those ruins? No, not quite. We're actually here to speak with you, Fran. Uh, with me? Did, did I do something wrong? Not all. We're just following a lead for this request we're working on. You see, there's a tourist claiming that you helped him during the last day of the anniversary festival. You apparently helped him find his wallet. Does that ring any bells? A wallet. Let me think about that for a second. Oh, right! I do remember that! He's a traveler from Liberal, right? So, he really did meet Fran. Oh, boy, let me tell you, that was one hard day. I was on my way home from work when I ran into a man on the verge of tears. I knew I couldn't just leave him like that. We were out past sundown trying to track down that darn wallet of his. Leave it to friend and drop everything to help some poor smug she doesn't even know. Well, I am a member of the police force. It's my duty to help those in need, too. I called HQ over and over again to see if the wallet got turned in. Funnily enough, we end up finding it under his bed at the inn he was staying at. I was relieved it wasn't stolen, at least. <coughs> so it's all, <coughs> so all a false alarm. Anyway, what did you need from me? Did something happen to him? Right, about that. We learned that his name is apparently Anton, and as it turns out, he's still here in Crossbell City, even though the festival is well over. He's been trying to track you down for weeks, and he doesn't want to leave until he's had the chance to thank you. That's why his friends submitted a request to the SSS to help him out. Wow, really? Aw, I'm flattered. So, what do you say, friend? No one's forcing you to meet him, so you have a right to refuse if you don't want to. I don't see why not. He's been trying his hardest to find me, hasn't he? Seriously? You're sure? I promise you don't have to go through with this just to help us with our request. Oh no, that's not why I agreed to it. I actually would like to meet him again, too. <laughs> After our little adventure from last time, I'm sure we'll have plenty to sit back and laugh about. Oh, but I might not be able to make time for him considering I'm working. Shoot. If that's the case, that's out of our hands. Hey, excuse me, everyone. What's up, Rebecca? I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation like this, but your lunch break is coming up pretty soon, isn't it, Fran? Why don't you ask him to meet you then? 
Really? Do you mind? It's a little unorthodox since you're technically on duty, but you should have enough time for a chat. As long as you do it during your break, I'll be able to hold down the fort. You seem to be having a little too much fun with this, Rebecca. Well, since you're going out of your way to help me out, I'll accept your offer. Well then, about this little rendezvous. Will Advink Sept and Central Square be alright? I can head there in a little bit. Well, as long as you're okay with it, we should go and tell Anton the plan. Make sure he knows I'm looking forward to it too. Fran, don't tell me she's actually interested in this Anton guy. Sum that up, Noel. You seem to be off in a whole other world there. Uh, it's nothing, Randy. I'm fine. Anyway, Lloyd, let's go report the news to Anton. Alright, sounds like a plan. I'm going to finish up this side quest, but then I think I'm going to have to end stream early. The problem is my throat's a little sore, so doing all this reading probably isn't helping. <laughs> but like I said, I will go and finish up this one quest first. Hello again, Anton. Oh, you guys are back already. How'd it go? Did you get Fran to agree to meet with me? Surprisingly enough, yes. She seemed receptive to the whole idea. She'll be on break soon, so we'd, she'd like to meet you at the restaurant in Still Square. Oh, sh she would? So thank you so much. I don't know how I'll ever repay you for this. Oh, man, oh man, I didn't think a bum like myself would ever get a lucky break. He seems a little overly thrilled. I'm glad it's working out for you, Anton. Oh, right. I need to find her an appropriate gift to thank her for her help. Uh, I don't actually have anything prepared for her. Dude, seriously? Should have had that plan well in advance. The date's already knocking on your damn door. <laughs> hey, can you blame me? I didn't think I'd be meaner this quickly. Oh, I know just the thing. P pardon me, dear sister. Would you be willing to accompany me to the Times? Uh, times? Why do you want to go there? It's a perfect place to find a present for Fran. You're a sister, so I figure you have all kinds of insider knowledge on her tastes and hobbies. I could find her the perfect gift. Right. On that note, I'd really rather you didn't call me dear sister. Um, and could the rest of you come along and help me pick out a present too? Uh, don't look at me with those puppy dog eyes. This has become more bothersome by the second. Well, we come this far, so we may as well see it through to the end. Alright, shall we go to times then? Uh, sir, yes sir! Thanks a bunch, you guys! Well, we should probably hurry and pick out Fran's present. I don't think we got the time for that now, Lloyd. Fran's probably already on her way to the restaurant. Randy's right, Lloyd. Since he invited her, making her wait wouldn't be very polite. W what do we do then? I propose we divide into two teams. Billy, Randy, and I will go to the restaurant in advance. Once there, we will explain to Fran that you will be arriving a bit late. And in the meantime, Noelle and I can help Anton pick out a prison. I think that'd be the most efficient course of action at this point. I can't thank you enough, everyone, for everything. I'm truly blessed to have met such a, such kind and charitable people. Please don't start crying, I beg you. Anyway, let's go with Tio's plan. I'm counting on you guys. Leave it to us. Trying to be brief. Better arrive with the present that'll knock her dead. You know, with happiness. We're running on borrowed time, so let's get to the department store. Anton, keep your eyes peeled. Sergeant Major, speak up if you see something a friend might like. Uh, I don't suppose I have any other choice. I'm in your debt, dear sister. Yeah, she already told you to stop calling her that. <laughs> Wife, n no, we aren't anywhere near that level yet. I mean, maybe someday, but now? This hurts to watch. Well, 
Welcome to Luca Boutique. We have every type of style of clothing you could ask for ask for. From children's clothes to fancy to business suits. Do not hesitate to ask me for assistance. Actually, we're looking for a present that'd be suitable for a young woman. If it's a gift for a young lady, let's see what we have in stock. Why not go with one of our newest products, the knitted bomb be palm beanie? I assure you, she'll become infatuated with the soft, fluffy sensation of the white palm. A beanie? Well, I can definitely see Fran wearing this, since they're how cute it is. Hmm, I think it would match well with the clothes she usually wears. But I'm not sure she likes wearing hats in the first place, given the way she styles her hair. Uh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Looks like this would be a risky bet. Uh, what do you think, Lloyd? Would the beanie be a good idea? Uh, sounds like I'm probably giving more thought. Uh, let me see if I... Let me look at the guide for this. Except I forgot the name of this. Here we go. Oh, okay. They do recommend it. Alright. I don't see why not. She's a fan of cute things, and it's certainly cute. Oh, when you put it like that, it sounds like just a thing. Perfect. I'll take it. If you don't mind, could you wrap it in something pretty for me? Why, of course. Just give me a moment. Thank you, too. I never would have been able to pick out something like this, something this nice by myself. All I can do now is hope that Fran loves it. Well, you won't know until you actually give it to her. Oh, shoot. It's almost time for us to meet everyone over at Vink's step. Sept. We don't want to keep Fran waiting. It's finally time. I think I'm ready. Oh, boy. Here we go. Lloyd and Anton are late. What's taken them so long? I could not say. However, I do know that keeping a lady waiting is at the top of the rudeness scale. Tss, 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 tss. Guys sink just as much effort into finding the right look as ladies do with dolling themselves up. Wow, Randy. You must have a lot of experience in the under your belt to know that just off the cuff. You can tell? Well, I don't want to brag. How about going on a date with me next time, friend? I'll show you up. Around to all the hot spots in town. Only the best for a girl like you. Aw, oh, you flatter me, Randy. Randy, are you seriously hitting on her? That time like this? It was just a little joke to lighten the mood. Sorry about the wait, everyone. Oh, it's Lloyd and Noe. And, er... Uh, good afternoon. A long time no see. No, I mean... Sorry to make you wait so long. Why, hello, Anton. Do you, you know my name? Oh, right. Lloyd and the others mentioned to me earlier. <laughs> so that's why. Oof, guess this is why they say you shouldn't count your chickens before they hatch. Aren't you guys a little late? Sorry about that. Choosing a present took longer than expected. we expected. Well, at least you're able to find something. Is it nice? Um, well, it should be fine. It could have been a whole lot worse, so there's that at least. Alright, you two save the chit chat for the meal. Fran doesn't get that much of a break, right? Better not waste any time. Good point. Well, Anton, shall we find a table? I yeah, definitely. Well, I say we move on up to the second floor. It'll be kind of hard for us to keep watching them from here, you know. Uh, are you thinking of spying on them? Come on, you can't tell me you're not worried about how this is going to pan out. Watching over our clients to the request is complete uh, as part of the job. That's right, it's our duty to see this through. Uh, sorry, to be, but to be honest, I'm pretty curious myself. You too, Noel? Well, I guess you have a point. Besides, Anton looks like he's sweating bullets. Maybe keeping an eye on them is for the best. We can keep him in check. Sweet! Now that's the style. Let's head on upstairs. Someone sure is having fun.
So, uh, they t told me that you still remembered me after all this time, friend. Well, of course! It happened on the last day of the anniversary festival! How can I forget? That sure was a rough day. You haven't dropped your wallet again, have you? C of course not! After all the effort you spent to find it, I'm never letting it out of my sight again. <laughs> You're a riot, Anton. Yes, I don't understand what part of that was funny, but things to be seem to be going okay so far. That reminds me, Anton. After I found your wallet, you kept on spacing out a lot. You know, I was worried that you came down with a fever or something. Uh, I was probably just entranced by your sheer beauty. Hmm? Did you say something? Uh, no, nope! <laughs> Poor Bass has got a long way to go before he has a shot with the ladies. How are you supposed to pick up a gal if you keep mumbling all your lines? But, you know, they seem to be getting along pretty well. Fran's having no issues chatting away like she usually does. Anton, on the other hand, still looks alarmingly tense. Fran's pretty much the definition of a social butterfly. Definitely compared to me, at least. And she's always been like this, just... And she's always been... Ugh. And she's always been like this with just about everyone. Even with people she's just met. Noel, are you alright? You appear to be bothered by something. Oh, well, I wouldn't go that far. It's just... Sure, she's always been popular with the boys. But I've never heard her mention actually being interested in anyone before. And yet she's acted unusually friendly with this Anton. You're just worried about her, aren't you? Uh, I mean... I guess you're right. She's my little sister, you know. Of course I want to look out for her. Seems like Noel's a particularly protective older sister type. I sure hope I don't cause the seal any kind of grief like this. Whoa, would you look at that? That right there is the face of a man who knows just what he wants. I think he's finally taking the plunge. Um, hey, friend? Yes, is something wrong? Well, I just wanted to explain why I was so adamant about searching for you. I truly wanted to show my gratitude to you for not giving up on find my wallet during the anniversary festival. So, will you accept this? Anton gave Fran a knitted palm beanie. Wow, wow, wow! A white palm hat! My sister Noe has one just like this that she likes to wear when out of uniform. This is perfect! I've wanted a white hat to match hers for a while now. Thank you so much, Anton. I swear I'll treasure it forever and always. Y yes she loves it. Here we go. It's now or never, Anton. F Fran! Do you like anybody right now? Uh, um, no, not really. Oh, but there is someone I love with all my heart. Uh. Uh, is something the matter, Anton? Uh-oh, she shot him down that fast? I think the fact she didn't even see it as a rejection made it cut even deeper. Sadly, I don't think there's anything we can really do in a case like this. Shall we pray for him? Maybe. Uh. <laughs> uh. Don't worry, I understand. Mm. Anton? Sorry, I gotta go. Fran, I really hope you and that person work out. Huh? Oh, hey. Uh, thanks for everything. Because of you, I was able to see Fran's beautiful smile. Uh, Anton. I don't know what to say. Don't bother. I don't need to be comforted or, comforted or babies. This happens to me all the time. Yeah, I kind of figured that, Reen. <laughs> he kind of left too soon to let her explain herself. <laughs> My life is, and always will be, a clumsy series of trial and error. Maybe someday things will work out for a guy like me. I do not quite follow. Uh, didn't you notice that serene, blissful expression Fran had even when she had when she said she has someone she loves? After I saw that, I knew I didn't have a chance in the world of snatching her away. I just had to throw in the towel. And that's that, friends. Uh. Phew. Fran shouted the poor guy to pieces. You're not helping, Randy. It may take some time, but I'm sure I'll be fine. Aw, Anton really did leave. He 
he must have been running late for his airship or something, I suppose. For Fran? Nelly, what's up? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Fran, give it to me straight. Who's this person you supposedly love? Is it Lloyd? Or, don't tell me, Randy? Uh, okay, now who's got the wrong idea? <laughs> Whoa, hold on. I was wondering why the sergeant major was being so quiet. I suppose this answers that question. Oh boy, now that the cat's out of the bag, it looks like... Hey, Randy, I think that's enough of that. Hmm. You wouldn't want to go and make things even more complicated. Eesh, that small could drive off a hard a herd of rhino sodders. You tell me everything, don't you? Why would you hide something as big as this from me? He isn't some troublemaker that you can't tell anyone about, is he? C calm down a little, Noe. Everyone is looking at us funny. Forget about that. I need answers. Pretend the rest of them are sacks of potatoes or something. Gee, thanks. Oh, honestly, Noe. If you want to know that bad, I'll give you a hint. That special someone works in the Crossbell Guardian Force and has a very strong sense of justice. Aww. And they've always been as kind as can be to me. He's in the CGF. Damn it. He isn't stationed at Tangram Gate, is he? They are! I never knew someone in my unit was that close to you. Uh, can we just get this over with? Is it Jack? Burrell? No, wait. Is it Mr. Temis at the mess hall? That is getting a little out of hand. <laughs> just a little. Uh, I'm disappointed, Noe. I thought you would have figured it out by now. You didn't give me much to go on. Are you really going to make me say it? Isn't it obvious that I was talking about you? You're kidding. Oopsie, my break's almost over. I'll see you all later. Take good care of Noe for me. I yeah, see ya, friend. <laughs> so that's how it was, eh? Doubt Fran will know what rom about romance for a while with a head like that on her shoulders. At least the Sergeant Major here can rest easy for now. Huh, thank you, Adios. Thank you. Still feel bad. Ooh, are we just gonna leave Anton in the... Are we really just gonna leave Anton hanging like this, though? Hey, are you doing alright, Sergeant Major? Uh, sorry about that. It's just... I suddenly felt a wave of exhaustion hit me. Aw, you really were worried about her. Yeah, I might have gone a little overboard there. Sorry, guys. I never meant to let you see that side of me. Uh, thank you for helping me with this mess. Still, I can't help but feel bad for Anton. Uh, do you think he'll ever love again? Are you not feeling... Are you not feeling sorry for yourself as well, Lloyd? I saw your eyes light up when Fran said there was someone she loved. Uh, that definitely didn't happen, and I'd really appreciate if you didn't make misleading comments like that. Anyway, we can always go check on Anton when we're free later. For now, I'd say our job here is done. Yeah, I guess so. Ready to go, guys? Quest a sincere favor completed. Alright, and like I said, I think I need to go ahead and end early because my throat is kind of sore to be... Um to be doing this much reading, so hope you guys understand that. Uh, so, thanks for tuning in, everyone. As always, you can follow my YouTube channel, link below to see my past streams, as well as my Twitter to be notified when I go live or further announcements. I'll be back tomorrow to continue playing Persona 5 Tactica, so I'll see you then. If you stick around, I'll go ahead and drop a raid. Uh, let's see. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and we'll go ahead and raid Mr. Shion Petra 92 who's playing Borderlands Game of the Year edition Game of the Year Enhanced. So I hope you'll stick around for that. And I'll see you tomorrow. So have a good night and take care everyone. Bye.